I just found out this amazing web app, which is completely free. And using this web app, you can create websites, apps, games, and much more. And this amazing web AI is called WebSim. And for now, it is completely free. You don't have to pay a single penny to actually use this. And all of these that I'm showing you right now are the creations of different creators out there. For now, I'm just showcasing the top creations of this week. We can actually go and visit this web app that was created using WebSim. So there you go. This is more like an advanced 3D Earth model where you can just go on and play with life evolution control. So let's say I want to change the temperature. So let's rise the temperature a bit. Let's see how it looks. And atmospheric oxygen, let's increase that. As well as water coverage, I want to decrease that a bit. And as for solar radiation, let's say I want to decrease that as well. And the mutation rate, just increase. I'm just playing with these. And I really don't want to allow catastrophic events. So let's just start evolution. So what this would do is, it would change the color, the shape, and how Earth looks on the basis of what I actually chose in these settings. Here are the logs of what happened in which year and how many years it took to evolve Earth to this date. And it was taking quite a while for the evolution, so I just paused it for now. It took a few million years to reach this date, and I think this is really interesting and quite a good application that the creator created using WebSim without any coding knowledge. So let's go back to the home page of WebSim. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be creating a website completely from scratch and that website should be fully functional. And let's dive right into the lab part. Hi, this is your host Shimbriz. Welcome back to Square Curve. We're actually getting hands-on and creating something using WebSim. And the thing is the creators behind WebSim made sure that it is built really simple and easy to use. So all you have to do is just go on and tell them what would you like to create today. So for me, I wanted to create a page, a website where everyone can come together and talk about their stories. So I'm gonna go and explain my scenario, but first off, I want to show you something. If you click here, you can see that they give you Sonnet 3.5, which is the smartest and fastest. And this one is the latest and topic model, as well as they give you ChatGPT 4.0, and there are a few legacy models from Anthropic as well. But I'm gonna go with Sonnet 3.5 for now. And one more thing, you can use a camera or upload an image to actually imitate a design that you already have with you. But let's get started with the prompt now. So I went on and entered my prompt here, which is to build a web app where everyone can come together as a community and share their stories. They can share stories as text or either using audio, which means you can use text or your mic to share your stories. There will be a comment section below each story so people could interact and to be honest this is something similar to reddit so let's hit enter here so there you go it started building everything for you and as you can see it's actually going and doing this in real time so here is the story the audio as well as the comments and you can enter new comments here you can share your story as well so everything that i asked for is here but i think the design is not up to the mark so what i can do is I can just go on and ask it to iterate over it and change the design. So I'm going to say I want the design for the app to be more modern and that's all. Let's go and hit enter. So there you go. It actually went on and changed the design and this time I can just post a comment here or if I want to add my own story, I can just click on this plus icon here and I can just go to the next page where I can actually submit my own story. And notice one thing that in the URL, you can see the submit page, which means that the plus button takes us to another page, which is the submit page. And here I can just enter the title of my story, which is going to be just skill curve for now. I'm just going to go and fill in random stuff here. As for category, it's going to be science fiction and my story. But what I can do is I can upload an audio version, which is optional. I can just go and click here to choose an audio file. But I think I want to have the capability to actually use the speaker on the go. So I'm going to go and implement that as well. But for now, let's check out if my story is actually working or not. So I'm going to go and say, learn AI with skill curve. Let's go and submit my story. And there you go. Your story is submitted successfully. There is the story details, the title, author, category, the story preview, and the audio file. And to be honest, this is really thorough. And if I go back to the home page, you can see this is the home page, which is looking quite good. If I go to the feature stories, I see different stories here. 
There's the skill cup story that I just posted using the name skill. These are the other stories as well. What I can do now is I can actually go on and add a few details in the design. So let's say I love this design, but I want to make sure that there is an option to toggle between light and dark theme mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and ask it to generate a button on the right side of the nav bar right here that can toggle between dark and light mode. So first things first, I'm going to go and bookmark this and I can just go and say that this is the version one and let's go and bookmark this. So once you're done with that, let's go back. I'm going to go and ask it to do the changes now. So I just composed this prompt, which is going to be add a theme toggle switch button on the right side of the nav bar, right beside the about link. This button when clicked will switch light theme to dark and vice versa. Keep everything as exactly the same because I don't want to change the design. Let's go and see whether it works or not. So there you go. The changes have been added. And as you can see, we have switched to the dark mode here. But if I click on this toggle button here, it can change the mode to be light. And if I click back, it's going to be dark. It actually went on, kept everything as it is, but just added that button, which is just mind blowing for me. What I want to do now is go to the submit option here. And now inside the submit page, I want to implement a few changes that I talked about earlier. So first things first, let's check out whether the theme works on this page as well or not. So I'm going to go and check and yep, it works. So now what I need to do is I'm going to go and ask it to add an option here through which we can record audio on the go. So I'm going to go and say keep everything the same and just add a button that could record audio using the mic on the go. So I'm going to go and hit enter. And let's see how it's going to change the whole thing. So there you go. It's done changing everything. And if you scroll down, you can see there is the record audio button. And what I'm going to do is let's go and say audio recording. I'm going to go and change the theme for now. Let's say the author name is going to be this time just curb. The category is going to be fiction. As for the story, I'm just going to go write anything. And as for the audio, I'm going to go and record this. Hi, this is Skill Curb. And we are recording this for the sake of just testing this app. Let's go and stop the recording and let's go and submit the story here. And there you go, your story is submitted successfully. Let's go and view our story. So here is the story. The name was audio recording and it is written by Curb. And this is the text that I added into the input box. As for the audio, I don't know why it's not actually working, but we can fix that on using natural language prompts. But all in all, this is really a mind blowing tune. And the fact that it is completely free for now and you don't have to pay a single penny to create these amazing applications. So once you're done finalizing your app, all you have to do is just go to bookmark this and then you can just go and say publish this and you can just copy the link and share this with anyone out there and they can view your web app. And you can even change the name. So I'm going to go and just remove this and I'm going to add skill curve here. That's all. So this looks like a good name to me. And with that said, I can just copy the link. I can make it visible to everyone with the link. So all in all, it is really mind blowing how it went on and created this whole application from scratch within just a couple of minutes and just using natural language prompts. And the best part, it was completely free. And it even generated all these images for you, these amazing animations, and the functionality is not even a bit sloppy. I really love this tool and all of you out there who don't know how to code, but want to create applications and websites this one is for you. So hurry up, go and explore WebSim before they actually start charging you for using it. And with that said, that wraps up our video for today. I hope you found this video valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.